Previously on The Hair Cult. I'm Natalie Zatino, I'm 26 years old, originally from Los Angeles, and now live here in Austin, Texas. Culture ATX Salon is designed to be this cutting edge salon. I have to staff this place, and I currently don't have anyone. <laughs> the rest of the world still kind of sees hair styles as like, oh, there's some high school dropout. No, honey, you can make some serious money as a hairstylist. I have one sister, she's five years older than me. You like my mini me. <laughs> I'm not only just the salon manager around here and it's really a co-partnership. I'm looking for stylists that are gonna really set themselves apart from the rest of the Austin area. I'm definitely in the market to make a switch. I really like it here. <laughs> there were a few judges. Really? Say, Tell me everything. The Ooh. owner of Deep Roots saying like, this isn't how we do things here in Austin. I'm just like, bring it on. We'd like to formally invite you to our lunch party tonight. I think that you'd be an amazing fit. I am 38 weeks pregnant. I just hope I can make it through the night. I'm gonna go. I'm really worried about her. <laughs> on the exterior and on social media, it looks like my life is incredible. And don't get me wrong, it definitely is. But doing what I have done these past two years has been ridiculously hard. We have this whole business that has truly exploded. At the same token, I also feel very nervous about the drama that will ensue naturally. At the center core, I still am that little girl that is very scared of what people will say about me and what we've built. It's so crazy, the family that we've acquired here. I cater to the rich and famous in Austin. I've actually been able to buy my parents a house this past year. I have my first influencer client. If I mess up, that could be dangerous for my career. Some people can't handle high-end clients. We have a business meeting to run tonight. If you're gonna be on the phone, I'm just gonna go. Like, we were talking. Jessica's mad that I'm gonna pick up this call. Things can get chaotic. I don't really care. <laughs> You know, I I feel like I'm okay. I'm surviving. You're trying thriving. to figure out how to be a mom. You're rocking the natural look. <laughs> a little wrinkly, but it's okay. It's all natural though. It's you know, like legs not shaven. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, like God. skincare. I forget to take my makeup off at night. Oh my God, never. <laughs> like that's I'm doing not all you. the no no. I want me normal. I like sleep with hair wet. You know, like oh that's like your God. number one rule. Like don't sleep with your hair wet. It's been a ride. I'm super type A, I have lists for my lists. Baby had another plan. I was in labor for 27 hours. I had three hours, two, three hours of pushing. It was the most traumatic birth experience to say the least. There's poop right there too. There's poop, there's milk. What, what am I gonna tell you? Hi, Romy. Hola, Romy. <laughs> it's so sweet to see you as a boy mom. You're like their queen. They're your little princes. Rome is like a physical reminder every day of like how much we've accomplished, how much has happened. You did this, like these are your creations. And we're in the salon that we created together as a family. Being a mom now, it's like, that's my number one priority. I wanna protect my little kiddos. I wanna protect my little princess. And I think that's just part of being a COVID mom. I was thinking today, while we were in the bustling, busy salon and just seeing the whole team moving along, I was like, it's so crazy, the family that we've acquired here. You know, we've had people that completely dismissed this opportunity. Our visions weren't aligned and we yeah. didn't see eye to eye on things. and. And that's okay, especially now that more time has passed. I feel like we can really step back and see like, wow, actually those people were not a good fit for us here. And like, like Jeffrey, Jeffrey, who we thought who in we the thought. beginning. Remember I was so gung-ho about him. Yeah. He was like, yeah, I'm gonna make the switch and all this stuff. I definitely want to like further talk about this and see like what we can make happen. And then like completely ghosted us. And I saw Molly today and she was just 
hustling. Like, I'm Molly. I'm the haircut specialist at Culture ATX Salon. Back to back, yeah. she was double booked with clients. And through all the different like moving parts and the moving team members that we've had, Molly's been like our OG day one. Since joining Culture, my career has been thriving financially and probably emotionally. I love my clients. I love the atmosphere that I'm working in and I can't say that about my past salon. She herself told me, she's like, I've never in my life thought that I could be this booked and have this like insane business that I have here. Like, I'm so grateful. I've actually been able to buy my parents a house this past year and I've only been working here for two years and I've been in the industry for 11. So I think that says a lot about culture. When we lost that big wave of stylists like Ethan, Brenna, and all those other people, I feel like in that moment, I was so heartbroken and I, I took it so personally. I realized what an emotional attachment I have to the business. Like this is my baby, just like how you have your babies. Yeah, you know? for sure. So for me, I felt so emotionally attacked in that moment. Like, what could we have done better? There's previous stylists that thought the salon was handed to Natalie and Jessica but they just didn't see all the hard work and effort that it took to build this place. First year where that wave of stylists like left, that's natural, that's, that's just how business is, especially in our industry. I think we've learned so much to like roll with the punches. I think we should change him. Yeah, yeah, can we come up? Mom, Mom, can you come in? Can you come help can us? Can you come help us? <laughs> Please. Mom is just such a godsend for me and I the babies. Know. Sorry, Same. Mom. Thank you. Thanks, mommy. He went. He went purple. Oops. Yeah, really bad. Oopsie. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, mom. mom. Bye. 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 <laughs> I think it's just super cool that we've developed this team of people. I'm just so looking forward to tonight. Like having all the team come it together so important, today. Yeah. So we have an amazing team building event tonight. We're meeting at the Sand Dollar House, which is this beautiful home overlooking Lake Travis. The team building part is a sound bath that we're putting together to have everyone have this time to really look at the year in perspective and let's hit this year hard. I'm, I'm curious to see how people will react tonight. Have you ever done a sound bath before? No, no, no. Like that, it's not gonna be for me tonight. It's about the, the team. team for, you I know, you like- should still be a part of it though. I mean, maybe. Like, you know, for me, like, I just don't have time for all that stuff. This is about, you know, bringing in that vibe together oh, and getting us. It's Kyle. I gotta take this one. So, if you haven't noticed, your girl is engaged. Lo and behold, I swiped right on Captain Kyle Voss. Kyle is a Marine. It started out as just a cup of coffee. We were hitting it off talking. From there it was like, do you want to go get a drink? And then, are you hungry? So we kind of joked that on that very first date, it felt like we had five dates in one. He proposed to me at the top of Mount Bunnell, which is actually very, very emotional, very beautiful for him. That's where his parents got engaged. I'm sitting here breastfeeding and I'm trying to do the most, you know? Trying to show up, trying to be here for this business, trying to be here for my sister, and one phone call, and she's gotta go take it. We have a business meeting to run tonight, and you know, things can get chaotic if we're not on the same page. If you're gonna be on the phone, I'm just gonna go. Okay. Like, well, we were talking. I know, I know, but I haven't talked to him in so long. I know, but fun. we're planning for tonight. Like, we gotta go get ready, like. Okay, we'll, we'll meet up after. I don't really care if Jessica's mad that I'm gonna pick up this call. Like, when Kyle calls, I'm gonna answer. So, you say you're kinda done for the day? I am too. I'm, um, we were just filming, but I have a meeting to run to, and then we have the team, like, building thing tonight. So, I'm really excited about that, yeah. We are here to celebrate. Let's take a look at who we were in the past and how can we grow. Mariana is obsessed with me. I think Vanessa's obsessed with me. She leaves this trail, color and brushes and bowls. Jessica is a hard manager. Gen Z, they are not used to hard work. Everyone talks shit about us all the time. We have some breath work and we're gonna do a nice sound bath. I literally could not stop laughing. What was happening there? It was too much. Balayages can be intimidating. They take a long time. They can be very overwhelming. I'm here to show you how I do them efficiently, quickly, but not compromising my quality. Being from Los Angeles, I was surrounded by talented artists on a regular basis. I was able to learn and master and refine my signature balayage. In this class, I'm going to teach you placement, efficient foiling, formulation, how to consult with your client, and even how to recover when you have a mess up. I'm Natalie Zatino, the Hair Heffa, and welcome to the Hair Cult EDU. 
My name is Amanda Gouchard. I am a extension specialist and I cater to the rich and famous in Austin. I am 34. People think I'm like 27, 25. Growing up in Idaho, my whole focus was to have a family. I grew up Mormon. Actually, when I was four years old, I knew I was meant to be a hairstylist. In high school, they told us to look up our dream career made per year. And I believe I looked up a hairstylist and it made $25,000 a year. So I was like, nope, I'm going to be a dentist or a plastic surgeon. I feel so dumb believing the $25,000 a year because you can make insane money doing hair. I have all sorts of clients, celebrities, influencers, athletes, wives, stay-at-home moms. A few of my favorites that have been with me throughout the years are Bristol Palin, Jean Watts, my new BFF, Courtney Shields. I am trying to find new hobbies that I want to find in a potential partner, and I picked up flying. I've literally taken an introduction class and maybe one lesson. Clear prop. But even on the introductory, they did let me fly it. I'm honestly just a very down-to-earth stylist but I know my personality can come off a little strong. That's it. Awesome. Sorry, I got makeup on your... Oh my God, that's the last thing I'm worried about. Honestly, I do want a guy that makes more than me, so he needs to make at least more than 350,000 a year. So there are things that make dating me a little bit more complicated, but we're not going to go into that. My name is Hannah and I'm a stylist. I am 23 from Columbus, Ohio. The reason I chose to move to Austin uh, for my boyfriend. <laughs> my first impression was like, this is like for real, like legit. It was just so bougie. I started working here as an assistant. Now I am starting out as a full-time stylist. Honestly, I was intimidated, but I was also really inspired. I definitely just want to be very successful and be able to have that financial freedom that I see surrounded by me all the time here. I have my first influencer client coming up this week and if I mess up, I am just so nervous to be canceled. That could be really dangerous for my career and my business. Like some people can't handle high-end clients. and I am a stylist at Culture ATX. Everybody says Molly's an OG, I'm an OG. Natalie literally reached out to me before Culture ATX was a thing and she found my Instagram account and wanted to do my hair. We were like mid foils and I was like, did you know I'm a hairstylist? I have two kids. Oh, kitty. It's really hard to balance being a mom and being a working stylist. You need to be able to accept help. I have a nanny that helps me with my kids at home and I feel so fortunate to have her. She loves my kids and my kids love her. I think Jessica having the mom aspect to it, I could really relate to her. It's like, wow, this is meant to be. My name is Vanessa Rios. I'm from San Antonio, Texas. I've been a stylist for over 24 years. I specialize in lived in color and hand tied extensions for low density clients. What's in your drink? Don't you wish you knew? It may or may not be an Austin lager. My faith and my relationship with God, I mean, it's definitely a number one. Being a pastor and helping people find their identity and their gifts, I mean, it's everything. God speaks to me all the time in dreams and in visions. I had a dream that um, Jessica was pregnant and I told her that I'd had that dream and she, she had a great poker face, but it ended up being very true. Oh my gosh, Vanessa is my pastor. She always has good advice and even though she's very tough love, I can appreciate that she always has the best intentions for sure. Mariana is obsessed with me. I think Vanessa's obsessed with me. We began as like frenemies 
I call Mariana Tornado Princess because she leaves this trail of color and brushes and bowls. And she's like, well, I'm so sorry. I was too busy to clean it up. Mariana Princess. She loves me. My name is Rachel, and I am the social media manager at Culture ATX Salon. Most people think that I'm a bitch. Everyone thinks I'm rude, but I'm actually really funny if you get to know me. Jessica is a hard manager. I've had to really raise the expectations for myself to meet her standard. It's been hard, but I feel like I'm finally getting there. My opinion about Gen Z, they are not used to like hard work. I just feel like everyone talks shit about us all the time because there's a stereotype of Gen Z people don't wanna work, we're lazy. That's the experience that I've had is they think they're gonna jump into something and that it's gonna just happen for them immediately. I mean, we're here what, six days a week? Damn near, yeah. Six days a week, one day off a week. That's four days off in a month. <laughs> so, and you want to tell me I don't work hard? <laughs> this is Rios. We do so much for our clients. All of you are changing people's lives. So I feel like it's important for us to take this time for ourselves. I can't take one hour for myself. I was mad. Balayages can be intimidating. They take a long time. They can be very overwhelming. I'm here to show you how I do them efficiently, quickly, but not compromising my quality. Being from Los Angeles, I was surrounded by talented artists on a regular basis. I was able to learn and master and refine my signature balayage. In this class, I'm going to teach you placement, efficient foiling, formulation, how to consult with your client, and even how to recover when you have a mess up. I'm Natalie Zatino, the Hair Heffa, and welcome to the Hair Cult EDU. A big thing for Jessica and I when we opened the business was there's a problem, we can talk about this and we can address it. It's common to have drama in live-in salons and that always will when you have a group of women all together, especially artists. We're all adults here, there's nothing that we can't move past together on. Hello, culture. Welcome to the Sand Dollar House here on Lake Travis. We are here to celebrate the new year, 2023. We're gonna set this year off right. We're gonna start it off with good intentions. Let's take a look at who we were in the past and how can we grow and become better versions of ourselves. We do so much for others. We do so much for our clients. All of you are changing people's lives. So I feel like it's important for us to take this time for ourselves. We have some breath work and we're gonna do a nice sound bath. We have some good drinks. It's just a good vibe. Natalie and Jessica just really go above and beyond with all of their team meetings with us. Yeah, we don't do anything small here. Mm -hmm. Nothing is normal. It's always above and beyond. I'd like to introduce a great friend of mine. He is going to be performing our breath work ceremony and sound bath. This is Justin, everyone. Nice to meet all of you. Justin seemed super sweet and chill. We kind of made a little eye contact and I think it was just like we understood each other maybe. Leg day. That's what I thought about Justin. It's like leg day. Gotta hit those legs. Today I'll be holding space for all of you. I'll be, I'll be getting into a body scan, breath work, and then a nice deep meditation. I'm excited to lead all of you guys through that. Same. Thank you so much, Justin. I found just immense exodus working with Justin through sound baths and everything, it's really allowed me to be able to create this space for myself to cope with all of the many hats that I have to wear in my life. So that's what I was like intending for the team to also feel. So to cheers this whole new year and this amazing new chapter for all of us, let's have a toast. We have Miss Gal from a good friend of mine, Aileron. Oh my gosh, are. those glasses look amazing. Right. We ended up having a drink in goblets. We're drinking from the cup of blood. <laughs> <laughs> we are blood sisters. That looked like there had been a sacrifice in the back. I was hesitant, because y'all know my face. I could see the vision, but it was giving first <laughs> communion. I kind of like the chalices though, like cute and culty, and we raise it up. 
I liked it. Let's what open up the floor. What are you, what are you toasting to? for? I'm toasting to being good to one another, good to ourselves, mm. good to our clients, mm. and just yes. really taking the time to invest in us. Ah, so cheers to that. Yes. Yes. Okay, Mariana, what are you cheersing to? Oh, working mom. Oh. No. And oh. the other ones can babysit. <laughs> Cheers to that. Rachel, what are you toasting to? To having a loving work family. I love working with y'all and I'm so excited for this year. And all the social media and content we're gonna get yes. Yes. Cheers to giving back to ourselves and looking hot. Looking hot, yes, bitches. That's hot. That's hot. And uh, choosing to learning, growing, and just becoming the best hairstyles I can be. Yes. Period. <laughs> I said nothing about the team though. <laughs> She's like, without all of them. Yep, yeah, it's a goodbye. We're going to change everybody. Let's go, babe. Starting on that note. <laughs>Justin takes out all these little colored jars and I was like should I have brought my toddlers with me like I had no idea <laughs> I really want to gift this to the team and I hope that they really like it and and appreciate this too hello everybody today we're gonna to get into transcendental breath work becoming nobody becoming nothing. So breath work is a wonderful way for you to start creating space for yourself and managing your thoughts, feelings, and emotions whenever they're overwhelming or intrusive. Transcendental breath work is uh, super special because when you become nothing, when you become everything and fully connect. I'm not really sure if anyone saw this, I hope not, but I started crying, laughing, and it didn't help that I had my assistant next to me and she knows my sense of humor. So when he was telling us we were going to become complete nothing, I couldn't handle it, but I literally could not stop laughing. Sometimes I really just want to feel nothing, and that is something that I almost feel like is a gift from Justin, that he's really helped me to understand what that means. I'm sorry, but I can't become nothing <laughs> if I ever tried, so. I'm always gonna be something. You guys can go ahead and get comfortable. Does anybody want a blanket? I know it's warm, but does anybody want a blanket? There should be eye covers on, on the pillows that you can take. You can throw those little eye covers on. So I've never done sound work or breath work or whatever that was called before. Um, I didn't really know what the noises were, who we were calling back from the dead, or like what was happening there. <laughs> but I had the best sleep I've ever had before, for sure. It was just so loud and like I'm such an anxious person. It was just too much. Yeah, about like, I'd say halfway through, I just gave up. I passed out. I was snoring. I hope they didn't catch me drilling, but I definitely took the time to take a nap. The sound bath threw me off. It was terrible. It sounded like when I get too close to the speaker with a mic, and it was just, it was too much. Personally, I really enjoyed the session with Justin. It was probably my best session yet. Look, it's a little bit hard for me to talk about it, I think. It got to a point for me where I couldn't handle it anymore. I got up and I left because I couldn't handle the noise. I couldn't handle being there. I think when I stepped outside, that's where I feel like a flood of emotions just like hit me where I was like, how could this be? Como puede ser que I can't take one hour for myself. I can't take one hour where I'm not thinking about Rome or thinking about rock, thinking about my parents, thinking about the stylist, thinking about the salon, thinking about the house, all the running lists that we have. And my body was like tense and then the emotions came because I was mad. I was frustrated that I couldn't take that time for myself.
Justin embraced me and he just let me know that things were okay and that I think that struck me um, to another point where he somehow made me feel safe in a moment that I wasn't comfortable with me. Yes, it was a total big experience for me that I am now taking a step back in my life and really like, okay, like let me look forward and let me improve myself as a mom, as a, as a woman, as me, like finding myself again. It was a really big eye-opener for me to do that. So we get to the end of the session and I'm in this like euphoric feeling of like an ultimate high, just feeling so lifted. And I look to my left, my first instinct is immediately check on my sister and I look over and she's crying. She's like sobbing underneath her mask. When I see my older sister start crying, I start, I'm literally choking up. I start like crying too. And so I, I immediately like sat up and I saw her and she sat up and I, I like, and I started crying, just like feeling her own emotion through everything. Without her even saying a word, I knew exactly what she was feeling. You're such a good mom, you could. It's okay. You're such a strong mom. Oh my god, it makes me really like just emotional for her just to see that like... Sorry, I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> I just love her so much and it was just really beautiful to see her take this time for herself because she just does it. She shows up for everyone else around her. Even though whenever I'm like dying of stress and I'm so overwhelmed with all the things I like I remember her and I think about her and what she's going through and I just I know that I gotta be strong for my sister you know how do you all feel I was like just so relaxed I felt like I was in that in the moment ocean. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like <laughs> the the sound waves I felt like I was literally in like the waves I was like release <laughs> after it was all said and done I absolutely love the experience. I don't know if it's because I got a nap on a Monday afternoon, which I never do, or if the sound work, breath work, did what it was supposed to do. I felt <laughs> relieved it was over. So I love the girls, and I didn't want to have any like disrespect of like their experience. So then I had to change my whole mood to really receiving what they had experienced and not be an asshole and ruin the whole thing. So I really just let everyone just talk and I loved hearing their experiences. I'm really grateful that we got to experience this together, like being in a safe space with you guys too. Like, I don't know. I just, yeah, I, yeah, there was, yeah, there was a sense of, for me, like I was like, I feel like each and every one of you like deserve this moment for yourselves too, you know? Like I see how hard everyone works in the salon. So I was like sitting here and it made me so happy to just like you were all enjoying in this and hopefully getting something out of this too and just like releasing. You are all always teaching me like every single day, you know? So thank you for being here. Thanks for it was such a bonding experience for everyone and I truly felt so lucky to be able to have shared that with everyone and yeah I'm, I'm really grateful for my team and to be starting off the year on such a great beautiful note with my with my girls I love you guys truly Cheers to a drama-free, amazing 2023 culture. Yeah.